Hello everyone and welcome to this video. Today I'm going to show you how I built an AI powered resume to job match scorer using Python and Langchain. You'll see how semantic similarity helps you figure out how closely a resume lines up with a job description. So I am going to go ahead and install all the Python packages you'll need for this project. If you haven't done this yet, just run this line to get everything set up. Now here's what you need to get started. To build your match scorer, you'll want to import some key Python modules. These will help you handle embeddings, check how similar things are, and work with files like PDFs. This setup is super important for processing both resumes and job descriptions quickly and easily. Alright, first up, you're bringing in all the tools you'll need, like loading files, working with data, and even reading PDFs. Think of this as grabbing your toolkit before you start building. Let me tell you about connecting to OpenAI. To use their powerful language models for embeddings, you'll need to securely load your API key from environment variables. This keeps your credentials safe and lets you access the embedding service without showing sensitive info in your code. First up, you're loading your environment variables with load.env. This lets your app grab secret info like API keys from a hidden file. Next, you're grabbing your OpenAI API key from those environment variables and making sure it's set up for your code to use. Now, let's talk about pulling text out of resumes. Most resumes show up as PDF files, so you need a way to grab all that text. Here, you're setting up a function that reads a PDF and extracts the text, making it ready for your AI to analyze. This step is key for turning a resume into something your code can actually work with. First up, you're making a function that grabs all the text from a PDF file page by page. Now you're using that function to pull the text out of a file called resume.pdf and saving it in a variable. Let's print a little header just to show what's coming next. And finally, you're showing the first 500 characters of your resume so you can see what got pulled out. Next, you'll set up a sample job description. In real life, you'd use actual job postings, but for now, you'll use a simple example. You're creating a variable called job description text and is storing a multi-line job description inside it. Now, let me explain how you turn text into something a computer can compare. You'll use OpenAI embeddings to convert both the resume and the job description into numerical vectors. These vectors capture the meaning of the text, so you can measure how similar they are in terms of content and context. First up, you're creating an embedder. That's just a tool to turn your text into numbers the computer can understand. Now, you're using that embedder to transform your resume text into a vector, basically a list of numbers that represents your resume. You're doing the same thing for the job description, turning it into its own vector of numbers. Let's take a quick peek at the first five numbers in your resume vector, just to see what it looks like. And finally, you'll check out the first five numbers from the job description vector too, so you can compare them side by side. So, as you can see, you've now turned both the resume and the job description into vectors. These vectors represent the meaning behind each document, making it possible to compare them in a way that actually makes sense. Now, you're ready to see how well the resume matches the job description. You'll do this by measuring the cosine similarity between the two vectors. This gives you a match score showing how closely the candidate's experience lines up with the job requirements. Please take a moment to like this video as it is going to be a great help and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. First up, you're calculating how similar your resume is to the job description. Now you'll print out your match score rounded to two decimal places so you can see how close you are to landing that job. Amazing! Now you can see exactly how well the resume fits the job description. For example, a score of 78%
means there's a strong match between the candidate skills and what the job needs. And that's it. You've just built a basic AI powered resume to job match scorer using Python and Langchain. From here, you can try analyzing multiple job descriptions, set up thresholds for top matches, or even rank job opportunities. Keep experimenting and who knows, you might just land your dream job or find the perfect candidate. What features would you add to make this tool even better? Let me know your ideas. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe my channel and see you next time. Thank you.